He was out reporting about being so slippery outside. Mm -hmm. I went outside to walk around in the snow and man, it only takes a few steps and you're saying, eh, I think I'll go back inside. Yeah, the sidewalks are very slick right now. Uh, yeah. So be careful everyone and you know, like we've been talking about, it's so cold out there. The snow is going to stick around. Here's a live look over downtown Portland, but I do want to talk about the snow totals and some records we hit. So out of the last, uh, any time we've had records in downtown Portland, this is the seventh greatest snowfall total we've recorded at 11.8 inches and the fifth highest snow total ever reported at the PDX airport with eight inches. So that's kind of interesting, a perspective for you there. So we got a lot of snow to melt. Snow totals around the rest of the metro area, about eight to 10 inches in Forest Grove and Hillsboro. Tiger about nine inches, six inches in the Scotts Mill and Gresham, four inches. So. We got a lot of melting to do. Ski report, we have a few inches up at Timberline and Meadows. No new snow at Ski Bowl and Bachelor in the last uh, 24 hours, but beautiful conditions up at Mount Hood Meadows. Been watching that camera, just blue skies up there. Okay, so let's talk about our weather headlines, what I'm going to be breaking down today. We've got plenty of sunshine today. Below freezing temperatures through the afternoon. We might warm up a little bit, but pretty chilly out there. Overnight lows are going to drop into the teens, which is going to refreeze any of the melting we do see today from all the sunshine. But we do have some warmer temperatures in store by this weekend, mid 30s for Saturday and Sunday. So I think that's when we're going to start to see the majority of our melting. So looking big picture of what's going on on the West Coast, well, there's a lot of rain down south in California, much needed rain. But we're seeing some cold air starting to move in, a next high pressure system, which is going to be bringing us just some sunshine. But very cold conditions. Doppler radar showing mostly clear skies over Oregon today. Really no new snow in the forecast all the way out to the east. But the temperatures, that's what we're watching. Six degrees in Pendleton, 13 degrees in Burrs. Right around freezing in Portland, down towards Salem and Corvallis. Warmer out towards the coast. That's the warmer spot, but definitely cold around our area. 32 again in Salem, upper 30s for Astoria, 16 degrees in Redmond, low 20s for the Dallas, and 25 degrees in Hood River. You do notice these sunny icons making it cold. It's 30 degrees in Lake Oswego. We're right above freezing in Sherwood, 24 in Newburgh, 35 degrees in Dundee, 34 in Forest Grove. So still cold in the metro area. Mid 20s in Happy Valley. That's a bit of a cold spot there. Upper 20s in Vancouver and 26 degrees currently in Washougal. Here's our temperature trend. This is important because where we start to get up above freezing is not for the next few days. This is 32 degrees, the red line here. We're going to stay below it for most of our areas for Thursday and Friday. We'll warm up for Saturday and Sunday. Then look ahead Tuesday and Wednesday. We're talking temperatures in the upper 40s. This is almost a heat wave. Look at the temperature difference. About 20 degree difference between today and next week. Rain and cloud forecast today. A few clouds to the eastern part of the state, but mostly sunny conditions through the rest of the day and even into tomorrow as well. So out towards the coast today, you'll see mostly sunny skies. Upper 30s is your forecasted high, maybe some low 40s there. I-5 corridor, low 30s, morning uh, clouds, but I think Everything is pretty much gone. You might see a few patchy clouds here and there. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Out towards the eastern part of the state, similar story. A few high clouds, but mostly sunny skies. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour as well in the teens. And your forecast for the Hood River area. In the 20s, it's still pretty breezy out there, so your wind chill factor is going to make it feel more like single digits. Forecast next seven days, low 30s Thursday and Friday. Again, be careful. Tonight, it's going to get really cold, dropping down into those teens. So any of the melting, you know, if it was walking around and some snow mm -hmm. is falling off the trees, so it does look like it's melting, but it's going to mm -hmm. refreeze hard tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking at the early part of next week. The temperatures yeah. are going to be really high. We've got rain yeah. coming in with the snow melt and those temperatures. It should we, should we be concerned about flooding next Definitely. Week? I think that's something we should really be watching. You know, we've been so focused on the snow, but mm -hmm. yeah, where's it all going to go when we have more heavy rain in store? It could be a major problem. So, all, all right. right. Stay tuned. Thanks. Too. Thanks. It's a. Uh...